Welcome to So Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress of your dreams. Today, I'm filming on location with Nancy in Oklahoma City at 360 Entertainment Powerhouse. This is actually um, blog number two with Nancy, so be sure to check out her other one just to see how the different styles look on her body shape. Because a lot of times as we are choosing a dress, we don't necessarily know what works for us and what doesn't work. So it's great when you can see the same person in two very different dresses so that you can sort of pick out design elements that you like a lot. Now this dress you did not make, but what was the phrase that you buy to alter? I'm a buy to alter queen. <laughs> she says she's a buy to alter queen, meaning that whatever you buy, she's going to, or whatever Shorten she buys. It, add a sleeve, take a sleeve off. <laughs> it's like remodeling a home, only easier. Right, right. And cheaper if you screw up. <laughs> right. You Just sell it. Just don't start expensive. <laughs> well, see, that's a really good point. One of the things that I like on her in this dress that the other dress did not necessarily have is, let's, we'll start with the bad, is that this one hangs perfectly straight off her tummy, whereas the other one scooped a little bit. It just hangs straight off. It's perfect it, right where it is which is great because then as she eats, she doesn't have to worry about it. She doesn't have to worry about Unless sucking in her. Like and it what? Oh, <laughs> sticking my stomach out for them. Well, see, this is all good because it will. I mean, bellies change size and shape as the days go on. You wear this for both standard and smooth, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the floats are detachable. Let me step out of the way. I think those are really gorgeous. The, um, the lace on top here mimics this necklace. I, I think it's really beautiful. It's got what, emeralds? There might be some blues or cone. There's a blue shade in there that I can't quite, it's not blues or cone, but there is a bluish shade in there plus the regular Aurora Borealis. The, um, this is sort of a classic lightweight Georgette slash chiffon that we call it here in the States. And did it come like this? Or did you yes. add them? Uh, no, no. In fact, I have wondered if this was too much. Like, is it better if I just had the single? Like, is my dress wearing me? Um, for standard, no. Not with the current trends. I have danced in it. There's a, there's a judge here, and he said he saw me and didn't. It wasn't distracting. It feels like I'm waving my curtains. You, you feel big? Well, see, and, and she brings up a really interesting point is that a lot of times, f while the dress trends in standard may not change, float, change, float trends change quite a lot. So as float trends go back to something smaller, then yeah, you might have to get rid of some of this and or- A dress that just has ribbon. Okay. That's kind of just some lightweight ribbon. That's yes, lightweight. and and the tr you know the trends will come and go. So it's actually really good that you have two very different style floats then. <laughs> so that depending on what's popular at the moment, what other people are wearing on the floor whenever you go out. One of my favorite, but yeah, because these are super easy to snap off, which is, and you can see the snaps, but. Nobody's yeah. looking that close. No, they, they blend in really beautifully with the stone, so it's not a big deal. My absolute favorite feature about this dress, other than the fact that the skirt yoke fits her beautifully, which is structurally my favorite aspect, my other favorite element is this necklace. Now, for standard, it's unfortunately not going to show a whole lot, but whenever she wears it as a smooth dress, this is really great. This is really a fabulous way to get a plunging look without having a lot of skin showing. So we've got the wide, deep, we've got a wide shoulder, so that tends to make her shoulders look broader because it's barely, barely on the shoulders. Plunges very low, and then the little lace pieces go even lower than that, which is great. So it creates a very nice, long vertical line, which makes her look taller, and it would even work on someone my height to make me look taller. The, um, the, f the flesh colored fabric behind it, if you're making it for yourself, 
of course, use something that matches your skin as closely as possible. If you're buying a ready-made dress, you get whatever's on the dress. This is actually a pretty good match for you. These sleeves I quite like a lot. I am a big fan of longer than average sleeves because as we age, our hands tend to get wrinkly and veiny, or if we're just um, like dancers, ballet dancers especially, we tend to have very veiny muscular hands. So having a longer than normal sleeve does a really great job of feminizing a very masculine looking hand. It also makes your arms look longer, which is fabulous for smooth and standard. Um, whether or not you like to have your, um, have it hook around the thumb or around the pinky, I like the pinky. I think it's a little more feminine, but a lot of people do the thumb and it's really just sort of personal preference. If I could have you turn, please, ma'am. Now, this is a really wide open back. And once again, if you compare the two dresses, it's very different than the other dress. It's wide and scooping right here. Nancy has really beautiful skin. I, I think she's got gorgeous skin. She's very toned. So on her, this is a really beautiful back. Skin hang over it. Yes. <laughs> well, and that's the thing is because she's, Nancy is so lean, she does not tend to have a lot of skin hanging over it. For women who are fleshier, you would absolutely have skin gushing. And so having that strap across the back is really distracting in that sense and ruins a really beautiful back. Those of you who have been following me for a while know that this strap across the back is my pet peeve. <laughs> one of, one of my pet peeves. It? Well, I asked her that. I said, do you feel like you need it for bust support? And she says she thinks she does. So how do you know if you actually need it? Really good question. You would step out of the dress, step back into it, and instead of putting the elastic across the back, it would go through the ribs. And then that way you can dance around, do a mock dance, see if you feel like you need the bust support. I'm so small breasted, I would absolutely not need the bust support. I, I needed it just to hold the dress um, together. Okay, so she says, in case you did, couldn't hear, she says she thought she needed it to hold the dress together. This dress actually fits really pretty well. Um, the lace down here stiffens this back quite a bit so that it hugs the shape of her back really well. We will always get some gaping right here, especially when we're in dance position or doing any kind of back bends, there will always be gaping. Overall, I think whoever made this dress did a good job. It's a, it's a nice fit. Sometimes they gape a whole lot, sometimes they don't. Sometimes dressmakers will like to put little crisscross straps back here. One, to hold the dress in, and two, because it's a design element. But it's either way, it's to, it's to make the dress hug a curvy body, because our spines always curve. So do you need it to hold the dress in or to hold the dress together? Once again, just step into it, elastic on the front, and videotape it, or take some pictures of it and see what you think. So anyway, that, that is a good point. I don't think I've talked about that strap in any of my videos because I don't tend to do it on my dresses. And so that gives you a couple of options on how can you have support without necessarily having that and how do you determine if you need that support. Play around with it with your dress. See if you use those tips I gave you to see if you need the strap. I will do that. Meanwhile, I think we are good to go. Thanks so much to all the amazing folks in Oklahoma City at the 360 Entertainment Powerhouse. Thank you to Thank you. Nancy. And please make sure you share this video with all your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Go to sewlikeapro.com. Leave me your name and email address, and I'll make sure I always send you these videos. And lastly, leave a comment. What's your favorite aspect of this dress? Or what have you done to your back straps? What if you had that horizontal back strap? What did you do to replace it? Or do you really feel that you need it? So that's it. Thank you so much for joining us. And I will talk to you again another day. Don't go anywhere. Let me get pictures.